Hey there, beautiful homemakers. Welcome or welcome back, girl. My name is Angel and I'm your digital homemaking coach here at Habits of a Homemaker, where I teach you how to cultivate godly character and habits within your home for the glory of God. Right, ladies, let's start off with some exciting news. It is a new month, a new season. Guess what? I am having a huge holiday sale on my website, habitsofahomemaker.com, where you can get your How to Be a Successful Homemaker e-guide for how much off? Not 10, not 20, not 30, but 35% off, ladies. That's right. You can get your copy for 35% off starting today, November 1st, all the way through December 31st. That's right. For the rest of the year, you can get your copy of my How to Be a Successful Homemaker e-guide where I teach you everything you need to know to thrive in your homemaking for 35% off. So after you watch this video, make sure that you go to habitsofhomemaker.com. You don't need no coupon. The seller is going to be automatic and it is going to take 35% off your order. So Go ahead, ladies. Don't wait no longer. Go ahead and get your copy today. All right, ladies, we're going to hop right on into today's video where I will be sharing eight signs that you are submitting to your husband. A few years ago, I made a video called eight signs that you aren't submitting to your husband. So if you have not yet watched that video, please do so. I will have a link in the description box and also in my iCards on either side of the screen where you can click that and watch that first and then come on back and watch this one, okay? So let's get right on into it, ladies. Sign number one that you are submitting to your husband is that you have rejected worldly feminism and you have embraced biblical womanhood. So that means that you are not going along with what the world says and what the world does. So that means that you are rejecting that worldly feminism. That means that you are rejecting those ideologies and the things of the world, but that you have adopted the mindset of Christ, that you look to the Bible for how to be a woman. So you don't listen and abide by the definition of what the world defines as a woman, but that you look to Christ and that you are defined as a woman by what he says by what he calls you by how he has made you and designed you so that means that you are looking in God's holy word and you are looking to him to instruct you and to guide you and to lead you as a woman that your role as a woman as a wife as a mother as a homemaker is biblically sound and is rooted in the word of god and that you are not taking on the ideologies the opinions and the mindset of this world but that you have adopted the mindset of christ that you look to him as to how to conduct yourself as a woman all right ladies sign number two is that you allow your husband to make the final decision. That does not mean that your husband doesn't come to you for input or that you all don't communicate well and discuss things over. Absolutely not. But when it comes down to the final straw that you allow your husband to be the final decision maker and that you respect his role as the leader, as the head of your household, as the head of you as his wife. So for instance, let's say that you and your husband are getting ready to make a purchase on a vehicle and you're not completely sold on the one that he feels is best for your family but he's talked to you you all have talked it over and he's like sweetheart I really I have I feel a peace about this I really believe that this will be the best for us economically it's going to be the best for our family such and such and even if you're not a hundred percent you will respect him enough to say okay you know what honey you know my concerns, we've talked about it, know that we need to make a final decision today. So let's go and move forward with what you feel is the best for our family. I trust you, support you. Allowing him to know that you trust him enough to make those final decisions and that you're not the wife who's gonna say it in a way, you know, that makes him feel like you don't trust him. So if you all are coming to a final decision about something, and even if it's not the decision that you would have made, that you respect your husband enough to know that he is the head, you've already voiced your concerns and that now there's time for a final decision, go with the best decision that he feels is right for you and your family. Don't do it in a way where you're going to disrespect him or you know demean him and say, well, you know what, fine, just, just do what you wanna do. I, I really don't agree with this. I feel like this is really gonna backfire. I don't feel like this is gonna work out, but if this is what you wanna do, fine. 
you know, just, just go ahead and do it. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, I guess you make the final decision anyway. So, you know, just go ahead and do it. You don't want to have that type of attitude. So if you are doing that, you are not submitting to your husband. But if you are going along with the first example that I gave and that you are actually respecting him, allowing him to make those decisions, even if it ends up not being the best decision later on, but you respected him enough to give him that space to lead. Okay, and allow God to deal with the rest of it. All right, ladies, sign number three is that you are a woman of discretion. Ladies, I talked about this in my last video that was titled, Are You a Foolish Woman? And we talked about being a woman of discretion. If you have not watched that, make sure that you click that video after this so that you can get a better understanding and foundation. But we brought it back to Proverbs 31. If you are a submissive wife, you are being a woman of discretion. You are being a lady. You are classy. You are mindful about how you carry yourself. You don't wear immodest clothing that is exposing yourself to the world and your body. You're not out here showing all of your cleavage off and wearing super tight and revealing clothing and see-through clothing. You are a woman whose husband is not embarrassed or ashamed to walk beside his wife in public or to have a conversation with someone else because he doesn't have to fear that you are going to say something or share something that you shouldn't be, okay? So you are wise with your words. You don't speak foolishly. You're not out out here just exposing your husband's heart and all of you all's business and private family matters within your home you're not out here doing that you're not tarnishing his name you are a woman of discretion that right there ladies is a sign that you are submitting to your husband all right ladies sign number four is that your husband feels safe with you spiritually and emotionally you are submitting to your husband your husband feels safe with you your husband knows that he can take a prayer request to you and that you are actually going to present that to the lord and not to your girlfriends on the phone and not to your family and not to social media but that he can trust you confidently he can rely on you and that he knows that you will only do him good like we talked about in the last video Video, ladies he knows that he doesn't even have to ask and say sweetheart you know I want to share something with you but please don't tell so-and-so or so-and-so he doesn't even have to ask that because he knows that he can trust in you he knows that you are going to go to God about him and that you're not going to run around to everybody else about him so if your husband feels safe with you, he knows that you're not going to poke fun at him if he's sharing something emotional and he ends up shedding a tear and you're like, why are you crying? You're not doing that. You are being a safe space for him spiritually and emotionally. All right, ladies, sign number five is that you consider him before you make changes to your appearance or to your home. Ladies, this one is huge. If you are a wife who is submitting to her husband, that means that you are considering him, that you are asking for his opinion. You're not the wife who's making decisions and saying, I could care less what he thinks because at the end of the day, I run this home or I decorate better or I want to do what I feel I, 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 but that you are considering your man, that you are thinking about him that how he feels about a situation matters to you. You are prioritizing his heart and how he feels. So before you go and dye your hair red, you're considering, wait, my husband actually hates that color. So maybe I shouldn't go and dye my hair red knowing that my husband doesn't even like that color on me. Or before I decide to just go and paint the kitchen a different color let me ask my husband and say sweetheart what do you think about us painting the kitchen blue and just ask him and see what he thinks you are doing these things you are considering him and his opinion and how he feels on the matter that is so important when you are doing those things don't be the woman that assumes either a lot of women fall into this trap where they just assume well my husband doesn't even care about those things he could care less what color i painted this or what i did to my hair etc that oftentimes is not true. A lot of times women assume those things, but they never bother to ask their husband or to consider him and see what he says about it. So it's very important to have that communication there because you'd be surprised 
how much men actually do care about certain things if you take the time to listen. You are a wife who is listening to your husband. If you are taking the time to consider him before you make changes to your appearance or to the home, you are submitting to your husband. All right, ladies, sign number six is that you operate in humility and accept his correction. So if you are a woman who is humble and you operate in humility, you don't have an arrogance about you. You're confident, but you're not arrogant. You are a woman who respects her husband and a woman who accepts his correction. So if your husband is giving you correction on something or if he is giving you a warning to something, you wanted to shop at Home Goods today on a particular side of town and you've already gotten ready for the day and your husband's like, sweetheart, I feel very unsettled in my spirit. I was just praying this morning and I just really feel like you shouldn't go to Home Goods today. Maybe we can try again another day. I just really don't feel it in my spirit for you to go today that you would accept it, that you wouldn't get angry and say, well, you know, I wanted to go. I don't feel anything in my spirit, so I'm just gonna go. And then you proceed to go and something happens. So you trust your husband to protect you spiritually. You know that he is seeking after the Lord. You know that he is following Christ and he wants the best for your family. You are walking in humility. You are accepting his warning. You are accepting correction with love and with grace. All right, ladies, number seven is that you honor him in private and in public. If you are a wife who is honoring her husband, you're speaking well about him. You are treating him with kindness and respect. In private, that means that you're not doing things to dishonor him. That means that if he told you, sweetheart, I don't want the children jumping on the furniture, that when he goes to work, you're not gonna say, all right, kids, daddy's gone, so go ahead and jump on the couch now. You're not gonna do that. You're honoring him so that if your child even goes to jump on the couch, you say, no, we are not doing that. We don't jump on the furniture, have a seat, that you are showing your husband honor privately, even when he's not around, that in public, you are speaking well about him. You are honoring him, you are serving him, and you're doing it with gladness, with joy, and not putting him down, that you're not at a table with friends and you're constantly interrupting him when he speaks, or he's sharing a story and you say, Wait a minute, we didn't, we didn't drive five miles. We actually drove 10 miles. Get the story right. You're not doing things like that. You are a woman who honors him. All right, ladies, we're at number eight, and that is your husband feels respected. This is huge because you are a wife who embraces biblical womanhood, who seeks after the Lord and who looks to the Bible to honor her husband, your husband's gonna feel respected. You will notice that, you will feel that. If your husband is feeling disrespected, he may have shut down emotionally or he may become very passive. He may even tell you, you don't respect me. You don't respect my position. You don't respect my decisions, all of those things. But when you are a wife, who does the things that we just discussed about submitting to your husband, your man is gonna feel respected. He's gonna feel like a man, okay? He is going to be able to confidently operate in his masculinity, in his God-given role as leader, as head, as provider, as protector. He is going to operate so well in that role. He's gonna feel confident while he's doing so because he knows that his wife respects him, that his wife respects his position, that his wife respects his role. So if your husband feels respected, he feels like he can go out and conquer this world, honey, you are doing an amazing job of being a submissive wife to your husband. Ladies, I hope this video was helpful for you. You feel like, thank you, Lord, I am operating in the way in which I should be. Go ahead and leave a dove emoji down for me in the comment section. And if you feel like you are a wife who says, you know what, I didn't resonate with any of these things, unfortunately, this is not me. I'm more so the wife who is not submitting to her husband. Go ahead and leave some prayer hands and we're gonna touch and agree. I'm gonna pray that the Holy Spirit would lead you and help you and give you wisdom on how to be the best wife that he has designed you to be. Because guess what, ladies, it's not too late. Even if you've been married for 10 years and you say, oh my goodness, I've been doing it all wrong. I've been disrespecting my husband. I haven't been honoring him. Allow him to lead. Even if you've been doing that for a decade, God can turn it around. 
You just have to be willing. And now if you are willing to do that, it is time for a miracle to take place. It is not too late. So we are going to pray with you and for you. Go ahead and leave a prayer emoji in the comment section. And when you see that I have hearted that emoji, that means that I am praying for you, okay? I love you ladies so much. Do not forget to go to my website, habitsofahomemaker.com to grab your copy of How to Be a Successful Homemaker e-guide where I teach you everything you need to know to thrive in your homemaking for 35% off, ladies. The sale is only going to last until December 31st, so you don't want to miss out, especially if you are struggling in any areas pertaining to your marriage or homemaking. This would be a great investment for you, ladies, to get on the right track. So thank you all so much again for taking the time to watch. I love you, ladies, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye, ladies.